We offer the full scope of technologies for anode rotting shops, including solutions for processing spent anodes and rotting new ones. Our cost-effective and proven solutions are based on over 40 years of experience serving the aluminum industry and are designed to help you improve productivity, reduce maintenance costs and downtime, and contribute to a safer working environment. Our solutions are tailored to meet your specific plant layout and operational requirements. Our high-quality proprietary equipment is built to last with low operating and maintenance costs that contribute to a faster return on your investment. All our systems are rigorously tested prior to delivery to ensure trouble-free installation and commissioning. Loading or unloading of the pallets with spent anodes or rotted anodes takes place at the load-unload station, either by using a pallet transfer car or a lifting table. Transportation of anode assemblies with spent anodes, rods only and rotted anodes, is carried out by means of a power and free p and conveyor system, which is interlocked within the system itself and the corresponding process machines. Spent anode assemblies are conveyed from the loading station to the bath removal station, where bath is removed from the spent anodes. To remove fine residues of bath material remaining on the spent anodes, they're cleaned in the butt shot blast machine. In the first chamber, electric motor driven blast wheels throw steel shot towards the butt surface while it is rotated 360 degrees. In the second chamber, the remaining dust and steel shot is blown off the butt with compressed air as it is rotated 360 degrees. The butt stripping press is designed to crush and remove up to full-size carbon butts from the rod assembly. The carbon pieces fall into a carbon conveyor through the press discharge chutes. The anode assembly is indexed into and out of the butt press by an indexer. Rod assemblies discharged from the butt stripping press are transported to the thimble stripping press where the cast iron thimbles are removed from the stubs. Remove pieces of the broken cast iron thimbles from the thimble stripping press are chuted onto a flex wall conveyor, feeding the incoming hopper of the cast iron thimble cleaning system. Thimbles are cleaned by a tumbling cleaning drum. The thimble cleaning system is housed within a noise enclosure. The rod brushing station is designed to brush two sides of the rod, allowing good contact to the pot line bus bar. The stub straightening machine is intended to reverse the toe-in effect of stubs bonded in anodes, which is an incremental deformation generated during each cycle the rod goes through the reduction cell. The stub straightening machine reduces the toe-in to an acceptable amount so that the stubs will fit properly into the anode stub holes. To remove residues of carbon and bath material from the stubs, they are cleaned in the stub shot blast machine. Electric motor-driven blast wheels Throw steel shot towards the stubs and yoke while it is rotated 360 degrees. Well-designed positions of the blasting wheels achieve a good cleaning effect of the stubs in the area where the new thimble pouring will take place. 
Rod assemblies are routed to a graphite dip tank, in which the stubs are coated with an emulsion of water and natural graphite up to a fixed height to prepare the surface for casting with cast iron. Downstream from the graphite coating, a gas-fired or induction heater stub dryer removes the moisture from the stubs to prevent the risk of molten metal explosions during the casting process. The mating and casting station accepts anode blocks from the roller conveyor and aligns them ready for mating with the rods. After mating, the anode assembly is indexed to the casting station, which is used to fill the stub holes of the anode assembly with molten cast iron. Once all stub holes have been filled, the anode assembly is indexed to a cooling position. The assembly is then ready to be transported on the PNF conveyor. The slot cutting machine utilizes a fixed slot saw design with a moving carriage that advances the carbon anode over the two saw blades. The anode is lifted, securely clamped, and then advanced over the two saw blades. The saw is designed to cut utilizing climb milling to achieve the deepest and narrowest slot possible. It uses industry-proven blades with diamond-tipped inserts. The slot can be cut parallel or inclined to the bottom of the anode. New anodes are conveyed to the rod shop mating and casting area via roller conveyors. The new anode blocks travel through a hole heater to remove any moisture and debris remaining in the anode holes. This prevents the risk of molten metal explosions during the casting process. Our cost-effective and proven aluminum processing solutions are based on over 40 years of experience serving every major producer in the industry. We help our customers improve productivity, reduce maintenance costs and downtime, and create a safer working environment.